What's good everybody? I'm back with a brand new video. Today guys, I want to talk to you all about Diablo 2 Resurrection. Alright, as you already know, this is a game that recently dropped for beta. And over on Twitch, if you was one of the ones that was able to actually get the key drop, then I'm going to show you how to actually go through the whole process of downloading it. Some people out there are stating that, you know what, hey, I got the drop, I actually claimed it, my account's connected, but I don't know how to actually get the game to download or work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through exactly everything step by step where it all started. How you can always look for Twitch drops in case some of you all don't even know how to look for these drops. And I'm going to be showing you how to actually download the game. Alright, so let's just get started here and uh, I hope this is very, very helpful to you guys. If it is, consider dropping a like on the video. I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you're new to my channel, hey, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join up with us because we'd love to have you on board. Hope you enjoyed the video. All right, guys. So what you're going to do first off, we're just going to go to a regular Google Chrome, you know what I'm saying? Click into our Twitch. This is something that I want you guys to always keep in mind that you need to check daily. Okay. So you want to click on your little logo up here at the top and you want to go down and click on drops. As soon as you've clicked on drops, you want to go to all campaigns right here. All campaigns is actually going to show you every single game that has a drop going on right now. So for example, PUBG has all four of these drops, but the only way that you can actually get this is by going down here. Now, if you're new to this and you've not claimed the PUBG, you know, drops in the past or whatever through this account, yours is actually going to be white and it's going to say connect. So what you would do right here is you would connect the account. And what you're saying by doing this is that you want to connect your Twitch account to the PUBG account. That way that y'all can link them up together and you can collect those drops and they'll automatically come to your um, PUBG page. Now, also this is the way it works. As I've done this a long time ago by connecting the account, you don't have to do this each time PUBG has a drop. It's automatically going to stay connected no matter what. Another one, uh, oh, and before we move on, what you would do is you would go through here and look at these names, and if none of these people are online, you would click more, okay? As soon as you click more, you're going to see tons of people, and somebody that I watch, of course, is Hollywood Bob Live right here. I always watch him, and if you'll look underneath their names, they will say drops enabled, like this guy has here and right here, and you can also look for whether it's English or whatever country you may live in, if it's Russian, Portuguese, you know what I'm saying, like it'll say it like right here. So just find the one that, you know what I'm saying, suits you, and if you're just somebody that really doesn't care about like listening to them, throw them up on tab somewhere long enough for you to collect it. So, and Bob, uh, Hollywood Bob also does have drops enabled and you may want to check sometimes just because it doesn't say it does not mean that, you know what I'm saying, they don't have drops enabled. Once you click on their picture, which I will not see it, you will see uh, a little picture up here in the little right hand corner. It's a little drop down tab letting you know exactly that you're receiving these drops. So what you would have to do is you would have to watch for 30 minutes to claim um, the contraband coupon times two, which would be this one, okay? Then you would have to watch for an additional 30 minutes to claim times four. And it, it tells you underneath all of these what they are, you know, times three and times five, you'd watch it for one hour. So each one of these are different. And if you look right here, it's August the um, 12th from 7 p.m. through August the 15th at 6.59 p.m. Central Daylight Time. And the reason it does that is because I'm on Central Time, so yours may say something else. All right, so once you're done with that, always go up and look, like Fortnite's having another one. And if you don't have any idea when they're going to drop again, like the first one was on the 12th, the second one's the 19th, the 26th, September the 2nd. So just pay attention to the dates, but most of all, you want to connect your account. Moving forward, I want to go ahead and show you. Down here, these are the closed betas. That means that these are already over with. You cannot claim these any longer. And this is where your Diablo 2 resurrection actually came into place, was right here. And a lot of people did miss it. It didn't stay up very long. I want to say like a day or two. But if I go to my inventory and I scroll down, I can see that right here, I got the Diablo 2 resurrection uh, early access beta is what I have. And I have the check mark 
everything says, hey, pretty much it's good to go. And a lot of you all were seeing this, but you have no idea how to actually get it. All right, so what I wanna show you is, once you've got this part done, minimize the page, and you wanna come over and make sure that you have battle.net. If you do not have battle.net, I totally suggest you go into Google, looking up, you know, battle.net, which uh, I can pull it up and show you. So you would just go to Google and you could just type in um, battle.net download and it's actually going to come up right here so this is downloads you know blizzard or you can click on the second one doesn't really matter so when this page right here comes up you can choose you know downloads from all platforms so you can just you know do it like that if you scroll all the way down you will see battle.net desktop app or you can actually just go back one and you can click on the battle.net app Right here it is, and you can just click download for Windows. So you do want to have this. Once you have this, it's going to look like this because you're signed into it. And if you're not signed in, then I recommend you to please sign in. You'll be able to tell if you're signed in by right here in this right corner. But what you want to do is you want to come over and you want to actually find your game. Diablo 2. All right, so what it's going to say, Diablo 2 Resurrected, this game cannot be installed yet. Okay, because it's still saying pre-purchase now that's probably what you guys are going to be seeing is where it's showing the pre-purchase now but we don't want it to be on the pre-purchase now we actually want it to come up and say you're probably going to see this it's going to show you every place that you can buy it pc and then you got all your consoles so what you want to do is you just want to go back to your games right here and make sure you're on diablo you want to click on this little drop box you want to see where it says beta once you click the beta, you see now that you have the choice to click install. When you click install, it's actually going to look like this. It's going to take just a second to load up because that's Blizzard for you. And um, it's pretty simple from here on out. You're just going to actually choose what file location, like your, what, you know, your Windows file, like whether you want it in your C drive, D drive, E, G, L, I don't know what drives you may have, but whatever the drive may be, find whatever drive you're looking for and uh, the best place to download it and then of course you're just going to actually click start install underneath right here so like i said sometimes this takes a long time to actually load up sometimes it doesn't as you see so you want to make sure that you have enable auto update create desktop shortcut you don't really have to have the enable auto update unless you want to but i would create a, a desktop shortcut it's going to be 25.90 gigabytes required so i'm just going to drop it uh let's see this one is in my g location so my g folder is actually going to be an external hard drive to where i can just go in there and wipe stuff off because i don't like to download a lot of stuff onto my c drive and all that unless they're important games that i'm actually going to be playing just all the time but other than that as you see it's going to start uh fetching uh data it's going to start looking you know for a place to actually start storing that inside of my um, g drive and it's just going to take off from there now the difference between my c drive and my g drive my g is probably going to be slower loading up it's just going to be a slower process on getting the game to actually come up load up as you see like my battle.net loaded up quick because it's actually on my C drive, which is an M.2 solid state drive as to where like these games, for example, are actually, uh, I think Call of Duty Warzone may be on my C drive. I'm not really sure or my D, but Black Ops, I don't really play it a lot. It's actually on my G. So it would take forever to actually load up. But as far as this, it's good to go. But that's it. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. It's that simple to actually catch Twitch drops and to actually connect your accounts. And it's actually very, very simple to go inside of Blizzard and download this game. So like I said, I hope it was very helpful. If it was, please smack the like button. And hey, make sure you watch out for all those Twitch drops so you can collect a lot more games that drop or a lot of loot, especially Fortnite, PUBG, because I know there's a lot of Fortnite, PUBG lovers out there. But other than that, hey, consider hitting the subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.